guys welcome back to 10 minute maths right this week we're going to introduce positional language and that's where we use special words to describe the positions of objects right so some special words we're going to use today will include on top under in front of behind and next to as always, there's going to be lots of opportunities for you to join in today, but for our challenge, you're going to need an object that you can hide. So it could be absolutely anything. And then for your greater depth challenge, we're going to draw a map. So we need some paper and something to draw and colour with. So here we go with positional language. So today we're going to use lots of different words to describe the position of objects. So let's play a game of spot the difference. We've got two sets of shelves. There's one on Betty's side and there's one on Barney's side. I want you to look carefully at what's on Betty's shelves and where they are. Good, so we've got a cube on the top shelf. There's a flower pot and a picture frame next to each other on the middle shelf. And then there's a teddy and a bone next to each other on the bottom shelf. So now look at Barney's shelves. What do you notice that is the same? So something that has not moved. Yeah, we've got the flower pot and the bone. They're in the same position, aren't they? Is there anything that is missing on Barney's shelves? Yeah, it's the picture frame, isn't it? He hasn't got that on his shelves. Right, now, is there anything that has moved so it's in a different position? Look carefully. Yeah, the teddy. Where is it now? Excellent. It's on the top shelf, isn't it? Good job. And it's above the flower pot. So we could say it's on the top shelf above the flower pot. Good job. Right, what else has moved? Yeah, the block. Where is it now? Yeah, it's on the bottom shelf and we could say it's under the flower pot. But we could also say it's next to the bone. Right, here's Betty with her doll's house. She loves playing with her dolls. So we've got lots of different rooms. What room is this one? Yeah, that's the living room. So we're going to call it living room today. What room is this? Yeah, that's the kitchen. What room is this one? Yeah, that's the bathroom. And what room is this one? Yeah, that's the bedroom. You can see it because we've got the teddy on our bed. Well done. So I'm going to use some special words to describe where a room is. And I want you to work out which room it is. So let's do the first one together. If I said, which room is under the bathroom? So then I want you to look carefully. Where's the bathroom? And then look, which room is under the bathroom? I'll give you another clue. It's next to the living room. So it's under the bathroom, next to the living room. Which room is it? Yeah, it's the kitchen. It's just there. Good job. Right, let's have another go. Which room 
is above the living room. So find the living room. Which room is above the living room? Yeah, it's the bedroom. Good job. Right, here's another one. Which room is next to the kitchen? I'll give you another clue. It's under the bedroom. Yeah, it's the living room. Good job. All right, let's have another one. You ready? Which room is next to the bathroom? Yeah, it's the bedroom. Good job. Right, last one now. Which room is above the kitchen? Yeah, it's the bathroom. Good job. Right, here's Barney. He wants to play hide and seek. He's going to hide his bone. And you need to describe where it is. So when you find it, see if you can use some special words to describe where the bone is. Right, you ready? So here we go. Where's the bone? Excellent. So we could say the bone is on the bed, but it's also in front of the teddy. Good job. Right, let's have another go. Where's the bone now? Can you see it? Give you a little clue. There it is. Yeah, it's behind the TV. Good job. Let's have another go. Are you ready? Where's the bone now? Yeah, we could say the bone is on the shelf, but we could also say it's next to the flower pot. Could we say anything else? Yeah, we could say it's above the picture frame. Good. Right, here's one last one. Are you ready? Where's the bone now? Excellent. It's under the bed. Good job. Right, here's your challenge. Are you ready? So, hide an object in your room. Use positional language to explain where it is for someone to find. So you could say, it's behind the cup. Or you could say, it's under the flower pot. Or you might even say, it's next to the book. So keep hiding it in lots and lots of different places. And then when you've done that, here's your greater depth challenge. So, draw a treasure map with lots of places to visit. Then, you've got to navigate your way around the map using directions to get to the treasure. I want you to think about what words will you use. So I'm going to show you my treasure map now. Are you ready? Here it is. So... Betty has got to rescue Barney. All right, you can see Barney down. He's in a cage in the bottom corner. So what Betty has to do, she's going to go across the bridge. Then she's got to go in between the palm trees. Then she's going to go around the volcano. Then she needs to go over the hills. Then she's going to go down the ladder. And then she needs to go behind the bushes. And then she gets to Barney and she rescues him. There you go. See if you can have a go at doing your own map. Good job today, guys. Really pleased with that. Well done. That's all we've got time for, but make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.